I got me a tripod. Ah! <laughs> I love it. Girl, you see that wall? Aisha did that. You see that wall? I did that. Period. And I don't vote it today. Period. Once again. There's some wars in this house. 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 So this is the beginning slash intro of this video. Um, we're going to Miami because guess what? My mother get a new body. I'm here with her favorite cousin, Natasha. Okay. Yes. 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 So we're on our way there now. We all we all in Coco, but <laughs> I'm gonna record when I get there. So we made it to the hotel. This is all the stuff you see. You have the back seat. All the stuff in the front seat. Got my bag of stuff up there too. And guess how big the Charlie is, y'all. Look at it. <laughs> For size comparison. <laughs> Here's my feet next to it. Why can't have at least been squared, rectangular, or something? No, they gave us a triangle. Small trolley. It's just gonna hold Monique's stuff like it's just gonna hold Monique's stuff like it's just gonna hold to the room the first time because they had a small trolley like I just showed y'all um we seen two people who just got BBLs um we don't know how good their butt was looking but <laughs> oh yeah so I guess this is the recovery hospital I guess but yeah <laughs> yeah recovery hotel <laughs> So yeah, so I'll get I'll get back to y'all later. Oh, this is day two. Um, oh, I just woke up. Um, my mom had an appointment or something, and I'm just waiting for her to tell you how it went. Ma! Tell people what you did today. Okay, hold on. <laughs> So what'd you go in early for? Okay, today I did my pre-op visit. Um, I did not meet with the doctor. I just met with like a consultant. I paid for my post-surgical packet, which is a surgical bra, um, a faha garment, uh, and Lovenox shots. Uh, took about an hour and a half. I filled out a whole lot of paperwork. They just want to make sure you know what you're getting into, all the risks, benefits, side effects of um, all the procedures. So it took about an hour and a half, but most of it was just paperwork. And I had to pay for a COVID test and I had to pay for my surgical packet, which was the garments. Hey, y'all. So um, it's nine o'clock in the morning right now. After my mom's appointment yesterday, she said that they should call her around five yesterday and tell her where her appointment would be this morning. So they never did, they just told her that she's gonna be on call. So, which means they'll call an hour before she needs to be there. So they haven't called yet. And we pretty much just been laying around in the hotel room because we're waiting on a call or whatever. She said the lady who went in at 5.30 this morning, she was with the whole go yesterday and she was on call. And when you're on call, you can't eat also. So she's just nervous about not having, not being able to eat. And then her not even going in today. So, yeah, that's just what we're waiting on now. Uh, we don't know if she's going to be able to go in today or tomorrow or what's going to go on. So, up to y'all when that happens. So I just got the phone call. I was supposed to have surgery this, today. I was on call. They were going to call me an hour before I had to be there. But um, the doctor decided to do me tomorrow morning at 530 because I'm having a mommy makeover. So tomorrow morning at 530 is my appointment. Today I have to go because um, I'm getting a breast lift, possible implants. But he's. I just wanted to see what size my breast going to be when they lift him. So he has to 
do that. So today I got an appointment at 12 to see him and tomorrow's my actual surgery. Hey guys, so red flag number one. Um, at that um, at that consultation about her breast or whatever, she was told that she could get like um, her back fat removed along with her breast and her stomach, right? Um, at the consultation, they told her, oh no, that's too much for the doctor to do, but yet she has already paid for the back fat to be removed. So now she's gonna have to fight them about getting her money back, which you know it takes a long time. Keep that in mind. Yeah, it's four fifty six, and we about to drop my mother out for surgery. We all tired. Well, except for my mother, she had, like she's just so excited for this. She gonna be hurting. Excited? How you feeling today? Tired. <laughs> Any more nervous? You no, see the crush, y'all. Today, when I get Let you cut with me. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, Mom showed me where this place at, y'all. The parking is the size of uh, Hot Wheels. <laughs> Hot Wheels garage. <laughs> Smaller. Okay. So, she has to park in the Walgreens parking lot. Guess what they gave it? Guess what these people gave this lady? I know. <laughs> No, dang all these people did not print out the dang Walgreens employee. Just yes. horrible. You, as you've seen in the previous clips, we brought my mother to seduction this morning at 5.30ish or whatever. And um, she called me back at 9.30 this morning and said, oh, Aisha, I don't want you to worry about nothing, but um, I haven't went back yet. My mom had been sitting in their lobby for four hours. Four hours. So why did you have her come to you 5.30 sharp and yet not even perform on her yet? And she called me at 9.30. Okay, so um, she called me. She, she gave me all her stuff, so I have all her stuff with me because they told her not to bring anything. So she called me off with another lady's phone and she told me that. And then um, we've been trying to call their office just to make sure she's okay and um. See if they what time they took her back, so we know at least what time we should expect her. Um, they act like they can't answer nobody's phone, so it's like two fifty now. We plan on going to um, to stop by there because if we gotta start a riot, we gotta start a riot. That's what I'm saying because these people are doing too much. Um, because it's just been a long time, and these people are just so unprofessional, very ghetto. Like I said, thousand out of the one that, negative a thousand out of ten would not recommend, and um. Yeah, it's just not been a good experience. So, I'll tell you how that goes. Oh, I'm about to record. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she got a suit. Dump it down. The instruction here, the emergency form here, and the ID of the, the information of the implant. Okay, so, thank you. You're welcome. All right. just woke up as always looking busted so um as y'all can see in the last clip we got her she's alive Ooh. um i never updated when we went at three o'clock but um they said whenever we went in they said that she only had a couple more hours to go so we just went back home well my surgery was yesterday um i had a 5 30 a.m appointment i arrived on time but I didn't get on the surgery table until about 11, 15 in the morning. That's, yeah, that's a long time. <laughs> oh, I coughed. 
But per my family, when they came to check on me at three o'clock, they were told by the surgery center that I that they had started about an hour ago and, and then I had a few more hours left. I don't know. I was asleep. Yesterday was rough. Like I was real sleepy and I don't like that anesthesia feeling. And I took a pain pill last night, but I got a high pain tolerance. Today I have not taken a pain pill. I have been taking the cough drops because it does hurt when you cough. So whatever you do, make sure you get cough. Get you some cough drops. So far it's been good. Today's my follow-up appointment. I'll let you guys know how that goes. So I went for my follow-up appointment. Um, I saw a nurse, no doctor. She changed my dressings and gave me um, like post-op instructions. Told me not to take a shower until 72 hours after, which is very difficult because I like to take showers. I feel so dirty, but I'm gonna wipe off. Uh, my daughter and my cousin are gonna help me wipe off and, and change my clothes. That way I can be a little clean. My massage therapist is on her way to do my um, lymphatic drain. I'll let you guys know how that goes. I took my pain pill just in case. As you see, my dress, my stuff. So, um, my mom said that the massage went good. She took a pain, um, a pain, a painkiller, a painkiller, <laughs> a painkiller. So, um, she said it didn't really hurt. It felt good. So, she took off her old binder and put on a new one and changed her clothes because she's not allowed to shower so she just wanted to change her clothes and stuff so right now i'm cleaning it oh um i guess trigger warning <laughs> i don't know some people want to look at this stuff i already been scanned it so whatever but this is it it looked worse but um i'm supposed to put some of this on it um yeah and i've been doing that and I don't know how clean it can possibly get, but um, it's been working pretty good. Like, like it bubbles up and stuff. Her two days plus up. She's Body walking one. pretty good. Snatching. Walking really good, y'all. Mm -hmm. She's been putting up her arms and stuff like that. So she's doing pretty good. Close stop. She is walking really good. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. You see the walk. You see the walk. Got Crocs and sandals. <laughs> Socks and Crocs. <laughs> yeah, she's walking really good. Walking like pretty much normal. See him standing up right? Uh huh. Look at this drainness. Mm. Still got a drain? Yeah, she got her drains in. That's it. That's it. But yeah, walking really good. Well, we made it home. It's four days post op. I feel great. Um, my overall experience with seduction, like, in the beginning, my consultant was great. If I sent her a message, she always messaged me back. When I went to pay, it was no problem. The only problem I had was when I arrived in there, somebody else was there. And then about 9 o'clock, two more people arrived for the same doctor. And I hadn't even been on the table yet. So I didn't, you know, I wouldn't go back to them. And I, I, I have money there now. I can still get something else done. But I wouldn't go back to them. And I would not recommend them to anybody. I wouldn't send my loved one there. Well, not to that doctor because he was overbooked. But they're supposed to be getting four more doctors and they build a new center. So maybe they're going to do better and, and you, you know, people won't be canceled and you won't have four people there at one time for a surgery. So. so as you can see, I have new my skincare routine, but yes, we made it home safely. Um, it was a nice trip for me and maybe it gave me time to relax and everything else. Um, thanks for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you!